1 John chapter 3. We'll start reading with the very first verse. Behold, behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God. Thank God right now we are the sons of God. And it's not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like it. For we shall see him as he is. Now notice what the third verse said. And every man that hath this hope in him. What hope? The coming of Jesus, being like him. Every man that has this hope in him purifieth himself even as he is pure. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Well, notice that this verse here in Peter talked about the hastening, hastening the coming. How can we do that? Is it possible? According to the word of God, it is. How can we do that? Well, number one, be sure you're ready yourself. Amen. How do you get ready? By being born again. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And then in talking about the coming of the Lord, you remember Paul said, writing to the church of Thessalonica, that the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout of the voice of the archangel and the trump of God. Now notice, and the dead in Christ. Now a lot of people through the years, I I'm, I'm, have already completed 67 years in the ministry. I, I've started my 68th one now. On the eighth day of August, I started 68 years. Amen. Well, it just seems like it's yesterday. Time flies, doesn't it? 68 years in the ministry. Amen. And throughout the years, through those years, again and again, we run into people that in trying to give different qualifications to make the rapture and to be ready when Jesus comes, they've got their set of rules and regulations and whatever. Formulas to go by, but notice the expression and it'll clear up with you, for you. Now, first of all, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Second Corinthians five seventeen. How do you get into Christ and become a new creature? By being born again. Now notice again then there in 1 Thessalonians 4th chapter, notice the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, the voice of the archangel and the trump of God. Now notice the dead in Christ. That's the only qualification of making the raptures be in Christ. The dead in Christ shall be raised first. And then when we, we which are alive and remain in Christ, hallelujah, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord. Can you say amen? amen? So how do we hasten this coming? Number one, by seeing to it that we ourselves are ready. And notice not only be in Christ, but every man that has this hope in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. That means you walk a pure and a godly life. Amen? amen. Praise God. Now then number two, the way we're going to hasten this coming is by telling the story of Jesus worldwide. Now notice what Jesus himself said. The gospel of this, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. Where? All the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Matthew 24, 14. Now what could be any clearer? What could be any plainer? Amen. So you're going to, we're going to hasten the coming of the Lord by preaching the gospel to every nation. We got Rhema graduates in 113 nations now. Hallelujah, and we're constantly expanding. Praise God. And the gospel, this gospel, this gospel, this gospel, not some watered down something, you know. No, 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 no. Praise God, the new birth, the blood of Jesus, the baptism, the Holy Ghost, faith, healing, this gospel, this gospel. This good news shall preach, shall be preached in all the world as a witness to all nations, and then the end shall come. Amen? Then the end shall come. 
Well, are we obeying Jesus' last command? Mark 16, 15, go ye therefore into all the world. Amen, and preach the gospel. Preach the good news about Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so if the church would just simply stir themselves up, praise God, and if they can't go, send others. By sending others, by supporting missionaries and supporting those that are going, we're hastening the coming. We're hastening the coming. Amen? Can you see that? Praise God forevermore. Somebody asked you, what are you doing here at Ramah? We're hastening the coming of Jesus. Because getting ready to go, amen, is, is hastening the coming. 